Yuval Topper Erez is on a mission to empower other fathers who are expecting a child. Recently, he shared images of his third child, Tig, with the LGBTQ community in an effort to provide more representation for those who identify as LGBTQ+. Yuval recruited the assistance of Tara Leach, a photographer based in England, in an attempt to document his labor adventure on film. It was my fourth pregnancy and I was expecting my third child, he wrote on Facebook. I was awaiting my third child. It was a difficult pregnancy, both physically and mentally. At first glance, I thought it would be just a lovely memoir for me and perhaps my child, but after seeing the photos, I realized that they are needed to be shared because they represent two causes that are near and dear to my heart. The normalization of home birth and the normalization of trans and non-binary people giving birth. When the rights of transgender individuals are being endangered in so many locations, I feel a strong obligation to speak up. However, despite the fact that Yuval was not ready to share his birth experience immediately after welcoming Tig into the family, he finally published the movie and photographs in an attempt to encourage others. As a result, I shared them with a few of my pals and now I'm ready to go, he explained. Just over a year has passed since I felt ready to share these with the rest of the world and now I'm releasing the album to the public. I hope that this album will serve as an inspiration to birth workers and future seahorse fathers, among other things, aka gestational fathers. I'm very aware of how valuable photographs like this may have been for me prior to my first pregnancy, and I'm equally aware of how meaningful it is for me to see images of fellow birthing trans and non-binary individuals even now. Yuval and Tig are welcomed into the world at 5.55 a.m. on May 8, 2019, following a very rapid and furious labor. Two midwives, one of whom helped him through a loss and a tough pregnancy and postmortem experience, along with a doula, where there is to lend a helping hand to him during his difficult time. Given some of the recent headlines he'd read about transgender people's rights, he decided the moment had come for him to share his own story. As Yuval said to Pop Sugar, I feel strong in need to speak out at a time when the rights of transgender individuals are being endangered in so many locations. Just last week, Hungary completely prohibited trans people from changing their identification documents to reflect their gender identity, and members of the House of Lords in the United Kingdom are sending letters requesting that trans people be denied access to changing rooms that correspond to their gender identity. The photographs were my way of expressing my belief that we have the right to exist, to make our own decisions, to love, and to be treated with dignity. Continue reading to see some of the most moving images from Yuval's home birth. Yuval Topper Harris decided to treat himself to something he'd always wanted to do, birth photography. When he was halfway through his fourth pregnancies, instead of keeping his magnificent home birth photos to himself and his family, a transgender father from England has shared them with the world. They are already making a big impression. In an interview with Romper, Topper Eris says, I enjoy it when inspirational people share their births with the world, and I thought that I might be that person for others. Other trans people in particular who have been told time and time again that they're unable to be parents. In addition, I hope that my photographs would generate discussion among birth providers about the diversity of delivering people in their bodies. The photographs, which were taken by photographer Tara Leach in the wee hours of the morning on May 8, 2019, document the delivery of Tig, Topper third Erez's child, as well as the intensity and raw emotion that's inherent to the birth experience. There's nothing quite like labor pains, a supportive birthing partner's laser-like focus, those fleeting minutes of respite in between contractions, and the ecstasy of two parents cuddling their infant for the first time to describe it. It simply opens up people's brains, Leach says of the photograph's effect on viewers, according to Romper. Whether or not you've read or seen an article about transgender pregnancy and birth, before, there have certainly been other fathers who have given birth before, and whether or not you've seen pictures of a pregnant man or two men with a baby, there's no denying what is happening in these images. They're a really real group of people. Topper Harris thinks that those who view his photographs will have an appreciation for the fact that all births are worthy of celebration. Birth is lovely and sacred no matter who gives birth to the child or how, he asserts, all birthing people as well as their decisions ought to be respected. Following the views of the photographs, Topper Harris realized that the photographs would be more than just a keepsake for him and his partner to cherish. After taking the photos, he had the sudden realization that they needed to be shared because they represent so well two causes very close to my heart. Normalization of home birth and normalization of trans and non-binary people giving birth. He shared the photos in a public Facebook post this May, roughly one year after they were taken. 
Among other things, I hope that this record will serve as an inspiration to birth professionals and future seahorse dads, also known as gestational fathers, as expressed his hopes. The photographs of fellow birthing trans and non-binary individuals are especially relevant to me because I remember how meaningful they were to me before my first pregnancy and how meaningful they were to continue for me now that I'm a mother of two. Topper Birth, Erez's images have gone viral since he made them public, collecting hundreds of thousands of views and likes across social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. I received inquiries and comments from people all around the world, Topper Erez said in an interview with Romper. According to Leach, it became evident very quickly that Topper Home Erez's birth photographs would have a long-lasting influence. According to her, there were people responding to it who came from all various backgrounds and all different walks of life. The overwhelming amount of positive feedback exceeded the few unfavorable comments. Chopper goal Erez was to empower and encourage other gestational fathers, and it appears as though he's fulfilled that goal successfully. According to one Facebook commentator, this is honestly one of the most essential and beautiful things I've ever seen. The fact that this image is so important to me is because I'm both afraid and intrigued about being a birth giver as a trans person. In another similar incident, man tries to be simulate pregnancy for a day by adding weights to body, he to even get out of bed. Hanley claimed he'd be able to deal with a new body but admitted to having difficulty getting out of bed. Maitland Hanley, a well-known TikToker, stuffed a large watermelon into his stomach and wrapped it around his torso with cling film for added protection. He then draped two melons across his chest to make it appear as though he had bigger breasts. While it is impossible to imitate a real pregnancy, it is possible to simulate a simulated pregnancy. Henley desired to have a physique and body weight that resembled that of a lady who was about to give birth. The TikToker woke up with a little extra weight on his frame, however, he quickly realized that the experience would be more difficult than he had anticipated. A woman's pregnancy is one of the most joyful moments in her life, but being pregnant for nine months comes with a number of problems and physical challenges that are not always simple to deal with on a daily basis. Men have always struggled with understanding the physical and mental obstacles of being pregnant. This has always been the starting point for the debate about whether or not they can genuinely grasp them. There is a straightforward answer to this question since only women who have been pregnant can understand the stress of being pregnant and only women can understand the pain of giving birth to a child. As a result, one individual decided to conduct an experiment to test if he could withstand the strains of pregnancy. Unsurprisingly, things did not turn out well for him in the end. Maitland Hanley, a well-known TikToker, stuffed a watermelon into his stomach and wrapped it around his torso with cling film for added protection. He then draped two melons across his chest to make it appear as though he had bigger breasts. Even though it is impossible to replicate a true pregnancy, Henley aspired to have a figure and body weight that were similar to those of a woman on the verge of giving birth. The TikToker woke up with a little extra weight on his frame, however, he quickly realized that the experience would be more difficult than he had anticipated. Hanley claimed that he'd be able to deal with a new body but admitted to having difficulty getting out of bed. Hanley repeated his experience by laying down on the floor of a living room and tried to stand up from his position. His actions progressed to include going to the bathroom and putting on shoes, among other things. He struggled in each of them as was to be anticipated. His core and back were not strong enough to hold the additional weight and he was only able to get out of bed by swinging his legs.